Um, find a polynomial whose roots are 0 and negative 1. So this is kind of backwards of what we've been doing. Polynomial whose roots are. Well, so that's x equals 0. So x minus 0 is a factor. And x plus 1 is a factor. Now it says a double root, so that has to be squared. And we don't usually write x minus 0, so we could just write that as x. So we could say y equals that. So we could say x minus 1. We could say x plus 2. And we don't typically say x minus 3 halves. And so instead what we would do is x equals 3 halves, and we'd multiply by 2, both sides by 2, and we'd subtract the 3. And so ultimately it would be x minus 1, x plus 2, and 2x minus 3. And so equals 0 because we're writing the polynomial equation. Factor this completely if we know that x minus 3 is a factor. So they've given us one factor, so let's divide by x minus 3. Essentially it goes like this. If you knew you wanted to factor eh, 20, and you knew that 2 was a factor because you knew it was even. Well, divide by 2 and you knew that 2 times 10 after you divided. Uh, and then you see, oh, it's another even number, so I could divide by 2, and you get 2 times 5. So 2 times 2 times 5 is it factored completely. That's what we're going to do, but with polynomials. So x minus 3 is a factor. I'm plugging in 3 right there. 2, negative 11, 3, 36. Now, one thing to keep in mind, they're saying x minus 3 is a factor, so we better get a remainder of 0 when we're done. Drop the 2 down. 2 times 3 is 6. Add negative 5. Multiply negative 15. Add negative 12. And multiply negative 36. So, we have negative 12, negative 5x, x squared. So now it says factor completely. Well, so we need to factor this. How we would do that is use the AC method. 24. 2 times negative 12 is negative 24. What multiplies to that? 6 and 4. 8 and 3. That's it. we got to have a negative 8. So 2x squared minus 8x plus 3x. We're splitting up this middle term and then we factor by grouping. Pull out the 2x. That leaves an x minus 4. Pull out the 3. That leaves an x minus 4. x minus 4, 2x plus 3. And so the final factored form would look something like this. I multiplied those two together and then tack on our x minus 3 that we divided by at the beginning. All right, a similar type question. Solve this given that 1 third is a root. So if 1 third is a root, if we divide by x minus 1 third, sorry, if x minus uh, 1 third is a root, if we stick one-third in the box. You can put 3, negative 1, negative 18, and 6. x cubed, x squared, x. You always want to double check that you don't need to put a 0 in place. You have 3. 3 times one-third is 1. You get 0. 0 times one-third. And I add negative 18 times one-third is really dividing by three, so I get negative six. And that's important because they told us it was a root, so it better be a root. So negative 18 
x, x squared. So 3x squared minus 18. Remember from what we did before, this isn't actually what we divided by. So if you wanted to divide by 3, you could. But we just divided out a root, and so we could set the rest of this equal to 0 if you wanted to. 3x squared equals 18. Divide by 3. Um, you get 6. And you take the square root of both sides, remembering plus or minus 